So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today I'm going to showcase to you guys an incredible farming spot which will see you earning between 13 and 18k runes every 10 to 15 seconds and it's basically for more or less most players, especially the lower levels. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So we all know the farming spot on this hill, where you come to this secret area, you run down this hill guys, kill these ads, and you'll get an absolute ton of ruins. I think it's just over uh, 2k each if you have this medallion, which I'll put a guide in the video description. Um, come and get this thing guys, it's absolutely ridiculous, it gives you a 20% extra ruins on enemies defeated. Once you have this, pull it on. Any farm you do is much better. But yeah, this farm... It can be a little difficult for certain players because these guys can hit hard back. So if you're not a high level, this farm's pretty hard for you to do. But there's a better way from this spot. And it's as simple as this. Shoot these birds with a bow, crossbow, whatever. They will run off the map and you'll get 13 to 18k runes depending on what buffs you have. Simple as that, people. Simple as that. You can just then run to the grey, sit down, stand back up, shoot them again. They run off the map. <laughs> real, real easy. So, get into this area. There's a couple of methods. Firstly, the easiest method, which I'm hoping a lot of you guys can do, which some of you probably already know about. You first have to defeat Radan. To do that, you need to start the quest here, Impassable Great Bridge. Come across to here, chamber outside the plaza. Start the quest, come up here, destroy him, you're good. From here, go to the very start, the point of the map, the first step. You'll have a quest here. I know there's going to be a glowing rock on the floor. Start it. An NPC will speak to you and it leads you to the Rose Church right here, guys. There's also there's going to be the same NPC leading up the wall. Speak to him, complete his quest. Now, the quest basically consists of like two or three steps. The first step is you have to inv invade three people's worlds. Invade the worlds. Don't even matter if you win or lose. Just invade them die whatever come back guys they'll give you a cloth you need to soak in blood this will then send you to either one or two places depending on the choices you've made the place i got was uh this church right here church of inhibition uh went here guys killed a invader went into the church dipped the the cloth in blood simple go back to him guys he then uh cuts off one of your fingers gives it to you and he then gives you guys this thing right here where am i um this there so this guys when you use it it will take you to the place on screen right now so you go here guys and follow the route i take and come to this grace it is as simple as that So once you get this grace guys, again, it's as easy as shooting the birds with your bow, let them run off the map, but do it from the position that I'm at by the way. If you go too far left or right, it seems as though the bird does stop at the edge and does it fly off. Uh, then you'll probably have to sit back down and reset it and stand back up. But once he runs off guys, again, run to the grace, sit down, stand up, rinse and repeat, simple as that. Or you can try your luck with these ads on the hill. Uh, but they can hit much harder. And there's actually, guys, if you see them with gold eyes like this, they give you five times the rune. So, like, this guy would normally give me, like, 2,400 with my medallion on. You can see there, I've got 12,000. Simple as that. Now that guy's attacking, I'm just going to sit back down. Now, if you need a bow, there's a couple of places you can get them from. But I'd probably suggest you go into this spot on the map right here. There's a vendor right here, guys. Uh, so yeah, use this, go here. He actually sells a recipe as well uh, to craft bowls, which is very, very handy. So yeah, come to him. 
uh, grab all he's got and you're good i'd also suggest you as well if you want getting a talisman called the uh where is it it's called the arrow's reach talisman which gives you effective range uh, more effective range on your bows that helps as well that's if you want to use the bow i prefer the crossbow but yeah now what if you've killed your darn and that npc isn't there for you uh, but you want to come and farm one of these spots this either bird shoot with the arrow runs off the map you want to try and farm these dudes down here well there's a natural other way but it does take a bit of a mission so you firstly obviously have to uh well not obviously but it will be in a second you have to come up to the grand lift of deck test once you get up here guys which if you write in the deck test medallion into youtube tons and tons of guides simple as that once you get up here you need to follow this path come all the way around here and you eventually guys you'll end up right here there's a guy on a horseback you need to kill him he ain't hard whatsoever this i'd say though you need to be quite high level to do uh, so yeah come through here guys and you'll end up climbing up a massive dragon here and you'll come to phantom godfrey which you have to kill once you kill him people you then come to the omen king again you have to kill him once you do that guys you gain access to this path right here forbidden lands and you come up to the grand lift of road once you're up here guys you have to come all the way up here and end up at castle soul once at castle soul people you have to fight commander neil who can be a bit of a pain in the ass for some people for me it was quite easy um upon killing him he gives you one half to the medallion known as the helic tree i believe it's called let's have a look there we go yep helic tree uh secret medallion the other half i've i already had the other half i'm not exactly sure where it came from but the guys i've seen on youtube people saying come to this place here uh, the village of Valle Albinorix, I believe that says. Come up the hill, there's a guy in a basket, hit the basket, don't use a weapon, punch the basket, he'll pop out. Once you speak to him, clear his dialogue, he'll give you the other half. So once you've done that, guys, you need to come back to the Grand Lift of Road. Here, uh, once you're at the lift, press right on the actual D-pad. So you actually get the option to go to a secret area. Upon doing that, you'll end up here, the hidden path to the Halley Tree. From here, guys, you need to come to this area. I highly suggest though you come to this grace first so travel up north come to this grace and then move left there's a portal here guys which takes you to that secret area where we can farm the multiple farms that are there but firstly when you get here you'll be invaded you need to kill the invader and it gives you access to the portal Okay, so once you've done that, go to the portal, guys, and you'll end up where I am at on the screen right now. So then from here, guys, follow the path I take to this grace and activate it. And they're good to use all these farms that are within this area. And it is as simple as that. Like I said, the bow one for the lower level players, higher level players. If you've got any air effect magic, you can take out all these in no time whatsoever. But yes guys i hope this video helps you out if it does leaving a like really helps me out if you're new around here and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully people i will see you on that next one